with the gust of wind. It's September 11th and Sunday is about quarter to two in the afternoon and we're beginning our vlog. This is the beginning, I'm not beginning the vlog, but uh, for our, this is our uh, weekend vlog. And then I'm on the scooter again, get more of these scooter segments. So this is the beginning of the segment, not actually the vlog itself. So, But uh, we vlog uh, Saturdays and Sundays as one whole day. Because that happens sometimes. Some days, times, uh, two days will blend into one. It will become one day. So you'll have a 48 hour day. Uh, but not always, but uh, enough, it happens enough that uh, uh, it's worth documenting. So now I'm going to try to do some uh, more of the regular vlogs as I drive. Of course, I've got my camera mounted as the GoPro. It's an outdoor camera. So, uh, completely, completely hands-free. And I know with the uh, uh, wind like this, I'm going to have to speak louder. So that my voice is heard above the noise of the engine and the noise of the wind. I'm enjoying the ride a lot better. I've got my sun visor on. Uh, the new seat is really doing a good job. It's, uh, it's, supposed, it's doing what's supposed to be really cushion the ride. on the balance of my bike and so you have to compensate for that as you drive I'm getting used to some of the bumps in the road and of course at a higher speed I'm not going to be able to avoid it so I might as well learn to get over to get how to learn how to handle it I have to wait for the gusts of wind to die down before I can talk again. That gives me a better option. My YouTube show last night was very enjoyable. I'm enjoying it more and more. Learning new tricks and stuff like that to get it keep it going. Okay. I got some time to blow my nose. Love. No, too late. We're going. Uh, I have to wait till Corinthia to do this. That made me cringe. I forgot my next stop. See, that guy is in a smaller car. With the smaller cars, I noticed that. Uh, because they're smaller, they think they can fit around things, and so they don't leave enough room uh, between yourself and the uh, 
and then uh, where the larger vehicle moves you around you give you full length so it, it, it's bad if you don't give the e-cyclist the bike a full lane in terms of as he passing uh, bad form and very dangerous because this is how accidents happen Huh? Oh, I haven't run out of power at all. Yeah, I was just maybe use a quarter, not even. I didn't even charge it last night. Yeah. Friendly drivers. <laughs> a little bit of a conversation there. Then what I'm see, seeing what's happening in North America, and this is what happens outside of, uh, I guess outside of China, uh, people aren't economical. And so the newer vehicles coming out from Toyota are very expensive, and they don't have much more power than what I have. Actually, they have less power. I mean, people don't. People seem to think in terms of these companies that people don't mind throwing money around. But what happens if you don't have money? I mean, I'm an independent scientist. I don't get. I don't have large research grants. I have to finance my research on a very tight budget. If I don't do that, I can't get the research done. And so I need to be economical about things. And so when I see something that's economical, I don't care where it's from. That's where I'm going to spend my money. The question is, is that, uh, what about other people? Well, it's like other people wait until they go bankrupt and then they have to sell everything off. A lot of people do that. A lot of people don't pay attention to where their money comes from or where it goes.